Well, a doctor's medical license is in jeopardy as the Texas Medical Board alleges negligence and repeated sexual relations with patients. News Channel 10's Angelica Brown joins us now live in the studio with details on the case. It's a case the Texas Medical Board has been looking into for five years. Dr. Douglas Shelton is accused of failing to meet the standard of care during two surgeries that led to complications. It was a hysterectomy that went horribly wrong. During the surgery in 2010, a nurse told Dr. Douglas Shelton and the medical team that the patient's Foley bag had filled with air, leading to a bladder injury. According to court documents, Shelton did not repair the injury. Medical standards require a physician to immediately find and repair the bladder injury. As her condition worsened, the patient underwent three more surgeries. It wasn't until the last procedure that the bladder injury was discovered and fixed by another doctor. A former patient of Shelton, who knows this case well, says he put the woman's life in serious danger. According to the Texas Medical Board, another incident happened in 2011, where Shelton scheduled to perform a hysterectomy at the Panhandle Surgical Hospital. On the same day, another patient of his went into labor at BSA. The hysterectomy took longer than normal because of a bladder lacturation, leading to another procedure. At the same time, the woman at BSA was ready to deliver. Hearing documents say Shelton left the hysterectomy patient under anesthesia for 30 minutes while he went to BSA to deliver a baby. Following the hysterectomy, the patient had severe medical complications. The medical board also alleged Shelton had sex with multiple patients. These allegations have some of his current patients with unanswered questions. I had called to see if his license was being revoked, and I kind of got an indirect answer from their office. They said that they didn't know anything, and knowing now that he his license is being revoked due to malpractice, I probably would have chose a different doctor to do my, my tubal. Madison says finding another doctor can be difficult, especially for ones expecting to deliver soon. Finding a different doctor in a short amount of time, some, some women are 30 weeks along, plus that's close to delivery, and it's very hard to establish a relationship with a new doctor in that amount of time. Dr. Shelton is allowed to continue his practice for 20 days. After that, the board can officially revoke his license if he does not appeal. Live in the studio, Angelica Brown, News Channel 10.